Hey, Steve Yanni here doing the muscle car crawl. The junkyards are too cold to go to the junkyard crawl, so we're indoors at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts. This is a 1970 Dodge Super B, one year design for this double hoop chrome grille and this hood. Now here's the thing, this hood is so elaborate. It's got a power dome in the middle, two die cast metal inserts, openings this thing's got to function it's got to draw cool air inside and feed that 383 that 440 or that hemi nice cool outside air right no these don't do anything uh, now the thing of it is these are equipped with little block offs inside of here that allow this to do absolutely nothing but look cool if you had a Super B or Coronet RT with functional cold air, N96. What you then got was a standard flat hood with a couple of fiberglass scoops bolted to it that then fed air through round holes. Let's take a closer look at this non-functional but beautiful Super B hood. Before I open the hood, by the way, classic Mopar uh, emblemary or iconery really is to have on the side of the hood blister the engine displacement. Not so on Super Bs. You got Super B here the brand name, the model name, the engine designator went to the front fender on this one, 383. So that's kind of weird. Generally speaking, on Mopars with domed hoods or performance hoods, the engine indicator is on the scoop on the side of the dome, but not in the case of the 70 Super B where that name again appears. Kind of weird, but there it is. Okay, under the hood here, we can see where the underhood bracing on all of these hoods is trimmed for the potential of a functional cold air duct. And again, it's possible that the engineers built prototypes and planned for an optional cold air attachment for that dome Super B hood, but it never came to production. Again, we add up the clues, we can see that this hood has been, as the engineers called it, protected for a possible cold air kit, but it never happened. But here we see on the bottom side, here are those two die cast inserts and on the back side of these, yes, you can actually remove block off plates to make them function. And we move next door to a Challenger. This one is a Challenger Rally. But keep in mind, 1970 through 74 Dodge Challengers could be had with uh, the RT or the Rally hood, which was similar. It was a domed hood, similar deal. Uh, die cast inserts right here. But you can see on this one here, the screws have been removed and technically this is now functional. Let's open the hood and have a peek at what we have. Okay, now the hood is wide open underneath, and yes indeed, we can see right here where you can get your hand through there, but the only downside here is that while you can unscrew those two block off plates and get air in, Dodge never did complete the picture and build a duct that fits under this that then would encircle the air cleaner and feed the air into the engine. So technically, this hood does function, but it's up to you to take your, your, your wrench and remove the nuts or the screws, pull those block off plates off and make it function. So the world of performance hoods, domed hoods, cold air hoods, more often than not, even the 64 or 5 GTO Pontiacs, they had bogus hoods. They didn't do anything, but they looked great. So that's the story of, of hoods, hood bumps and stuff. And keep in mind, too, this Challenger style RT hood made a, a repeat a appearance on the Dodge Ram pickup truck in the last several years. And also, of course, on a Challenger, the reborn Challenger from 08 up. They have a tribute to this very hood. So it's an iconic design, but uh, doesn't do much unless you break out the tools. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel and also check out the High Octane Classics website for many more of these muscle car crawls and a look at their inventory in Auburn, Massachusetts.